there's one there. I think there's a couple down there. There's a whole batch. Good night. All right, so I got all 31, 32 loaded up. Look at all these maples here. My goodness. Got to have a maple haul here. Might be 30, 40, or 50. I even have a couple more sitting behind me right here. Maple haul. Even have a couple more maples sitting down here. And most of them are pretty straight generally. Helping clean up the pond dam a little bit. Getting a little something out of it. This on the pond next to me, something kind of ominous. That moss chunks just growing up under the pond right there, and right there. Man. And see, this is the reason why I call this a haul here. You got one, two, three, four, and there's a second one right there, five. Perfect size. But let me get down here. I gotta be careful because it's sloping down into the pond. There's my death bar. Let me break. Break off. Okay, can't break it off. But let me get these jokers out of here. I'll get them up to the house. Another reason to call it a haul. This one I'm holding in my hand is about 12 foot long. There's two walking sticks right there. Yeah. So I ran down this pond line right here. And I got me about 15, 20. I still have a few more that I have to pull out of here. There's one there. I think there's a couple down there. There's a whole batch down there that actually is a perfect size for a walking stick. I had a dang caterpillar on my neck. Anyway, <clears throat> look at that pile. It's a bunch of maples just grown up by the pond. Tons of them. I still have a few more to pull out over here. In fact, there's a whole patch right there. You can probably see them. Good size. All right, just chop these down with the chainsaw. It's a whole lot quicker way than what I was planning on doing with the hand saw or the bow saw. I'm just getting them out of here. I'm gonna throw them on my pile. Hopefully I get 30 or more out of this. There's a bunch of good maples around here. Oh, look at that one. Right there. Got like another natural curve. Man, I'm gonna get you next time, son. Now this is what you call cool. It's a natural curved handle up in this walking stick here. Curved is good. And look at this fool. There's always something that just never ever wanted to let go. What well, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Nice little haul. I am so sorry about the shake here. Uh, I thought I recorded it a little bit better, but it's a chest mount I was trying. But what I'm currently doing is sizing the sticks up into six foot lengths and um, you can see my tape measure right there it's just laid out at six feet and I'm just taking my bow saw clipping it at the six foot mark throwing it at the pile across the thing all right so I got this pile of 15 all sized up right here I still got a size of couple down from six foot but we'll figure that out I think it's like just that one right there it's like the tip of it right there like 12 foot long but I'll figure that one out now I have to go clean up this one cut off the big branches that get in the way and cut off the, the very ends of it that you know just won't let me fit it in my truck that's my trash pile gotta get it going all right so I got all 31 32 loaded up I was able to get two 
sticks out of a couple of trees, which is, that's awesome. But it's time to load the most important one, a little bit. I think it's about six inches long. All right, here we go. All right, back at the shop now. Put the stock, and this is just my load from today. I think it's about 32 walking sticks up in there. This is just my initial drying rack for right now, and then I'll put them in these guys so they can dry up so I can get them to work. For these guys, I want to skin them tomorrow, and we'll see. So here's my maple haul from the other day. It's about 32 walking sticks up in there, and now I'm going to get them all skinned up, cleaned up, and ready for drying. So I just skinned them five so far. I got these more to go. I still got more around that corner. Look at this guy. I've got to prune every single branch off of here. Good night. Here's one of the downfalls about having a walking stick that used to have a bunch of branches on it as it grew. Look at all them little branch nubbins growing up and down this thing I got to take a grinder to those eventually whenever it does get dry but I do have them sticking out a little bit maybe about half an inch or so just like that so they don't crack into the main body of the walking stick sometimes it looks good sometimes it don't I prefer the don't option and there it is after it's been skint like a bunch of little fingers with claws ready to good night I was just skinning my last stick here. And look at all this, it like rotted. And small little chunks along the way. The whole rest of the stick is just completely solid, but hopefully this adds some character to it. But anyway, I'm done. Oh my goodness. That is a pile. But, something cool that I found. Oh, I done skint all, about 32 of them. So that's gonna go very, very easy. In fact, it's gonna speed up my sanding process. Like, by a couple of hours, really. Cause just think, if I sand every stick, 20, 30 minutes, maybe 15 minutes, depending on it. I mean, I don't have to do that anymore. I mean, all I have to do is just grind a couple of little sprigs from the branches that were on it. Let's see if I can find one. So there's all these. I don't have to grind those guys down. But that's no problem. The grinder take care of that. All right, so here they are back in their home. They're going to sit there for about a month or so. Hopefully they don't bend as they dry. Maple's known to bend a little bit as they dry, but hopefully not too much. If not... I can just steam bend them back to where I want them. Yeah. Oh man. No. Nah. I do not want to start on you. I'm going to hit you tomorrow. I usually get a broom. But I'm probably going to need a rake.
Hey, if you're still here, thank you so much. Please like and subscribe. Check out my other videos. And then everything you do, get out there, have fun, and keep sticking to it. You guys have a great day.